guys, today we're going to be talking about solving percent problems using proportions. So bringing that back from last chapter, and this again goes with the same learning goal we have for the whole chapter. I can solve real world problems involving percents, including simple interest, tax, tips, discount, commission, markup, and percent of increase or decrease. Today we're just going to talk about how to set up a proportion to solve a percent problem, and it's actually really simple. And so then we're just going to do a couple examples and that'll be it for today. So when I solve a, a percent problem using a proportion, I want to set it up this way. I wanna have a part, my part over my whole and set that equal to the percent number over 100. So leaving the percent number as the number because remember percent means out of 100. So this is really just the ratio that's equal to that percent. Um, and then we have to figure out what's the part and what's the whole in the problem. So which number represents one whole and which number represents a part of that. For the most part, but not every single time, the part will be less than the whole, but that is not always true. So let's look down here. There are 2,000 people at a concert. 204 of them have floor seats, which are some of the best seats at a concert. What percent of 2,000 is 204? Um, a couple things to think about, um, and you will want to add this to your notes. When we see the word of and the word is in our problem, those give us big hints about what's the part and what's the whole in case you're having trouble seeing it. If you see the word of, the number that comes directly after that word of is the whole. And when you see that word is, the number that comes directly after that word is is the part. So I like to say is part of whole. So just making sure that we understand this word indicates the whole and this word indicates the part. So whatever number comes directly after that keyword. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, once we know what the part and the whole are, and it's possible that you'll be trying to find the part or the whole, um, <clears throat> in a problem like this, that's okay. We can always solve for any number in a proportion, so it doesn't matter where we put our variable. Okay, so we've identified the 2,000 as the whole. That's the total number of people coming to the concert, and we've identified the 204 as the part, and it also says what percent. So I know that the percent is a thing that I'm going to be finding, so that's gonna be my variable and I'm gonna put that over 100. So I wanna know what part out of 100 is the same as 2,000, is the same as 204 out of 2,000. So I put part over whole equals percent over 100, percent is what I'm trying to find. And now I'm just going to cross multiply to solve that. So I will multiply this way and multiply that way, or you can think of it as multiplying the two diagonal numbers and dividing by the other number. So that's gonna be 204 with two zeros after it, when I multiply it by 100, equals 2,000n. So I'm gonna divide by 2,000, and after I do that on my calculator, I will find that n is equal to 10.2, and remember, the question asked what percent. I'm finding a percent, so I need to put a percent sign. You have to be really careful and only put the percent sign on if the question is asking for a percent. This one was, so my answer is 10%. So 10% of the seats at that concert would be floor seats. So we're gonna do one more. Remember, we're going to follow this same model here, and so we need to figure out what's the part, what's the whole, what's the percent, what do we know, what do we not know. It says your math teacher assigns 25 problems for homework. You have done 60% of them. How many problems have you done? So I'm not seeing the words is and of, so I have to kind of think this through. It says my math teacher assigned 25 problems. So 25 problems is the whole assignment. So 25 problems would be the whole. So I just mark that up right on the problem, as long as it's not in the textbook. And we know that we have done 60% of them, so we know the percent. So they're asking, what number, how many problems have I done? What number is equal to that 60%? So that's gonna be the part. So as I'm setting up my proportion, the part is the thing I don't know, so I'm gonna put a variable in there. 
the whole assignment is 25 problems. So that goes there. The percent number is 60, and that per percent means out of 100, so we put 60 over 100. Now I'm going to cross multiply and solve this. So I would need to do 25 times 60 and then divide that by 100. And that would give me that n equals 15. And so now I know that I have done 15 problems. So I could write that out. My answer would be I have done 15 problems. The answer to the free response question for today is pillowcase. Um, we are going to start class tomorrow with this problem right here. You have, you just got a part-time job. You will be making $8.50 per hour. You're scheduled to work eight hours next week. Your plan is to save 15% of your earnings. How much money will you save from next week's earnings? So um, I want you to think about this, go through it step by step, and have it solved for class tomorrow. So you may wanna pause the video now and go ahead and do that right in your notes so it's ready to go for tomorrow. And here are your free response and multiple choice questions. So go ahead and pause the video now and you can answer those. After that, have a fabulous rest of the day.